Hello, and welcome to Shotgun King. Now, you're not losing your mind. Not yet, anyway. Um, I did cover this game. However, um, there's good reason to cover it again. Much, much good reason. Uh, and in fact, you can consider this basically episode one of uh, a Shotgun King miniseries. I say miniseries because I don't know how much... Um, how much, you know, how much of this I'm going to play, how much, uh, call there is for this, but I think there is some, and I think this game is worth covering. This game has, uh, been a very unexpected hidden treasure. Um, Punk Cake, they, uh, they did this for Ludum Dare, uh, I know it's Dare or L Ludum, whatever, you know, you can, you know, you can, listen, okay, um, <laughs> Uh, they did it did it for a very like kind of um, short experiment um, but then uh, it the game's kind of taken off and a lot of people love it and uh, they decided to make it um, basically their next release so now the game has a price point it's received a very substantial update which uh, I've already gotten a chance to um, uh, kind of dip into and and it is excellent this this game is very fleshed out now and um yeah it's it's amazing this game has uh become a really unexpected treat and i really like it um gotta say every time uh if there's even a 10 percent chance the devs are watching this i gotta say thank you so much yo from the bottom of my heart thank you so much for putting in actual like audio options thank you i know that that is like effort and and it's super appreciated um so we have two uh two modes now thrown in endless i don't have endless yet we're gonna maybe we'll, we'll work towards it we have difficulty options now best floor nine so you can see i've done much better than you previously saw me and even if you joined me uh my last stream you may you may uh, recall uh, if you're like one of my, you know, uh, <laughs> more enthusiastic viewers, I did not do well at this game. I, I am not good at this game. Floor 9? That's pretty good. That's real good. And I will say it is in part, uh, you know, in no small part due to some of the new uh, features that have been added to the game, makes it a lot more interesting and also uh, accessible. Like, I am okay at chess. I'd say I'm okay at chess. I haven't played it in a long time. But, um, you know, I, I forget some fundamentals. But here we have, like, I think one of... Like, my favorite new feature is an indication of uh, basically spread, which I think is really, really helpful. Really gives you an idea of, like, what, what how, how much, um, you know, we can expect, how much damage we can expect uh, from our shot. So, um, oh, we can't, we can't hit them now, but, um, I have been a little bit more careful to kind of, uh, pay attention to, uh, enemies. Also, you'll notice we start with two shots. This may be because we're on normal and what we were playing before may have been basically what is now hard mode where we only have one shot. But, um, yeah, this is, this has been really good. We, we, we need... We, I, I, I guess we, we don't start with as, nearly as much uh, ammo, which is kind of an issue. I should be able to do this. No, maybe not. Oh, we, I, I got some more ammo. I don't know where that came from, but... All right. And I will say uh, there's been some new upgrades added, upgrade choices, and they're really nice. They actually add quite a bit... Um, and, and make the game a little bit more, uh, I wouldn't say easy, because the game is still quite challenging, but they are really interesting upgrades. So here we have plus six ammo max, White King plus two HP. Well, I'm never going to let the, the White King have plus HP. Pawns can move attack. Now, this is awful. Extra soul slot plus one ma ammo max. Remove one pod, pawn, uh, add one knight, negative one ammo max. I mean, this is a quite quite the blade that cuts quite deep um but i will take it um there's now like a card that adds a moat i don't know if that was a thing in the game before that i didn't see but it's a really cool uh ability that kind of adds this little moat that basically nothing but knights can jump over which is a really cool idea 
being able to shoot twice is so nice. Reloading both shots also in one jump, also super nice. Um, definitely, definitely helps a lot. Uh, you know, the game is hard, and I, I would say that the game is now easier. Even you know, if it's on normal mode, I don't know what's what the what the deal is, but uh, I, I I honestly welcome some of these uh, changes because the game was really difficult before. Um, extra soul slot again, plus one ammo max. Move one square further per night soul owned. Lose them on each floor. Well, this is interesting because we have two night souls right now. A new pawn joins the fight every four turns. This can actually be really interesting. There's a card that gives you more ammo. Um, like this one, destroying a rook gives two ammos, add one rook. There's a one that gives you ammo every time you kill a pawn. So actually having a new pawn join the fight every four turns can be beneficial because you can basically just like shotgun blast like ad infinitum, uh, which is really nice. I think I want another soul slot. And also destroying rooks gives two ammos, add one rook. This can be a little bit tricky. I don't know, let's try this. I wouldn't mind trying this. The only thing that sucks about that is that um, we're gonna lose the night souls as soon as we, yeah. So wait, move. Can, how do we move? Move one square further per night soul owned. Lose them on each floor. It, it looks like we cannot actually move more. Did, did, am I supposed to gain new ones? It would have been, it would have been nice to um, take advantage of that new ability uh, once before getting it. But now, okay, now we have a new night soul. So now we can move uh, much further. All right. That's going to give us a, an extra... Um, an extra, uh, what am I saying? An extra ammo. So we want to do that. Um, yeah, okay. We did some damage to the king there, so that was quite nice. I think it is important to do, um, basically kill off all of the, the big players, like, the, you know, the rooks, even the knights and the bishops before you head for the king, um, just because you don't want to end up in a situation where you can get checkmate. Fire arc, negative 24 degrees. So this means, I guess we, it's a weird way of saying it, but I guess it just means we our, our gun becomes more accurate. Uh, plus one ammo regeneration, plus one fire range. Interesting. I, I like the more accurate shotgun. That, that could be really interesting. <laughs> it like adds a scope. So let's see what that looks like. And indeed, it, it does look like it's it's firing at a, on a more narrow cone, cone now. Oh, right. Okay. Um, hmm. Okay, this isn't great. I'm going to go here, and I know that this guy is going to put me in check. This is, uh, I'm not really getting the opportunity to attack at all. This is, uh, really not ideal. I might be in checkmate, like, very soon. I m might be now, actually. I, I never got the opportunity to attack there. That's, that sucked. Yeah. All right, well... We'll, we'll do another. I might have, uh, I mean, I, I obviously I might have messed that up myself. Make no mistake. And uh, I would say that last upgrade I got was not ideal. I do, I will say, like, I, uh, not being able to make use of the Night Souls before you, like... Like I had two of them, and I and I'm not not being able to use them. That that's that's a bummer. I understand why that's a thing. I do. But I won't say it won't. It didn't bum me out because it did. I was truly bummed. Okay, we need to get rid of some of these pawns. Actually, um, I say that my last upgrade wasn't great. It was great. It was. Um, reduced firing range, but still. Um, 
Okay, white king, three HP, negative one fire range. Eh. Bishops can move, not attack, orthogonally. Add one bishop. This this is brutal. Plus three ammo max. Oh, these are both horrible. I don't like this one. Uh, reduces our fire range. Uh, I'll do it. Being able to kill the king in like one or two attacks is, is really nice. But the bishops being able to attack, uh, move orthogonally basically means that one bishop can can uh, move, like can can put, uh, eventually move to an attack range. Like the one thing you can uh, um, count on, oh my god, are, we're not in checkmate, are we? No, we're not, okay. The one thing you can count on for um, bishops is that they can only attack one color, like, you know, the black bishop can only attack the black, well, I guess this is incorrect. Listen, I'm not good at chess, apparently. I thought I was, but apparently I'm not. Okay, we get, we get rid of that rook. And we start hitting the king. Two attacks to kill the king is quite nice. King is allowed to right-click to fire all loaded shells and negative one firepower. This is interesting. I don't know what this means, though. You can play an extra turn after using a soul card. See, I was hoping for this. I'm hoping for this card um, after I've gotten two soul, like the ability to have two souls or three souls apparently is a thing as well. Remove one bishop is kind of nice because then we don't have to worry as much about this uh, red book for the bishops. Add two knights at the start of turn 20. Okay, well, let's let's try that. I don't like the negative firepower, but I do want to try some of these new abilities. Right-click to fire all shells is interesting. I don't know what that's going to do for us, but we'll try. Oops. Okay, let's try it now. Okay, so it just it's just two attacks in a row. Interesting. Um, circumstantially good. But that does mean we're going to use up way more ammo. Oh, we don't have any ammo right now. We have to... Hmm. I was going to say we could kill this rook. Wait, that was a previous game. Never mind. If we do this now, we could kill them now. Oh. Oh. So where are we getting some of this ammo from? I would like to I'd like to know where we're getting the ammo from. Night backup. Oh yeah, okay. Makes sense. But we're we're done here. Like we were dead in the water there if I hadn't gotten that extra ammo. You can play an extra turn after using a soul card. Uh All right, let's try that. I want to I want to experiment with this game. As long as I'm going to be playing more of this game, I, I want to experiment to see some some of uh, some better combos. Okay, I want to get rid of this bishop. So I did do a, a double fire there. Yeah, see now that bishop the bishops are a pain. If they can um, attack me like that, that's a real pain in the butt. I should have done a double fire. Uh, I'm not in checkmate yet, but I could very well be soon enough. Um, this is not ideal. Okay, let's do a double fire here. Yeah, get rid of two at once. Oh, that was so good. Okay, double fire. Listen, you have to let me use it Oh my god, okay. Double fire on the white knight. There we go. That was nice. The double fire is quite good. It is actually really good. Non-king pieces can't come near you. This is actually excellent. This is one of my favorite new abilities because it basically means that like uh, rooks can't just like move right next to you or the queen can't move just like right next to you. It actually gives you quite a lot of power and uh, like placement um, or, or movement uh, uh, power. I, I don't know how to put it, but like gives you a lot of control over the battlefield. Oh no, no. Oh, I 
made a classic mistake. Don't don't uh, shoot a piece that's protecting you from another piece. Oh, that was my bad. Listen, I'm still I'm still not great at this game, but I will get better. Just gonna I'm just gonna Oh, that was nice. I, I forced I, that rook was there was no way nowhere for it to go, basically. Oh, that king is not dead. There we go. Plus two fire range, plus two firepower, fire arc. So this one increases our spread, but um, also increases our firepower by quite a lot. Remove one pawn, add one knight, negative one ammo max. Ugh. I'd rather have the, the increased fire range. If we can also make that more accurate, we could we could possibly like fire from across the map. Or we could fire from here. It's not gonna do very much damage, but it's something, right? The thing I have to worry about now is um, basically ammo is gonna become a problem. We don't have any ammo right now. We have one ammo. And I don't have it loaded. Okay, uh, <clears throat> knew that was gonna be a thing. Okay, I just need to make sure that I'm not uh, moving towards the, the bottom and I'm gonna get myself checkmated by those rooks. That would be unideal. There we go. That was that was close. We could have we could have been in a tricky situation there for sure. Fifty percent chance to knock back enemy. This is nice. Plus one ammo max. That is also nice. Charge one additional shell in your royal shotgun. Fire arc. Oh, okay. So it increases our spread. King can't be killed if a knight is alive. This one is tricky. Increases pawn speed. Remove one knight. Add three pawns. This can be a problem, but uh, not with the knockback because basically we could knock the pawns back. So we'll we'll try that. That'll that'll be fun. You do have to worry about the pawns ever so slightly. I wonder if if we shoot from here, does it have a chance to knock them back now? Like, does it knock them back regardless of range? Yes. Oh, we're in we're in uh, check. Okay. Um, this could be really bad. I don't have a soul. I don't have a soul. How come I don't have a soul? All right, we got really lucky there with that shot. If I had not killed that rook, we would have been dead. Okay, let's move here. Oh, completely missed. Um, yeah, I mean, not much we can do there. Okay, we just need to... <sighs> that is brutal. Okay, we're gonna move over here because the rook... Oh, I, I, I'm, I'm an idiot. I'm a total idiot. I thought that they, there was nothing they could do. Can we shoot? No, we can't shoot. I was wondering, like, we, we can totally kill the king. We're in checkmate. I just want to shoot the king. Why you gotta be like this? Oh my god. Well, I probably created that situation for myself, but man, I just, like, wanted to take one shot at the king. This is why you gotta, this is why you gotta, you gotta take out the big, the big pieces. As quick as you can, and obviously the the pawns getting to the end. That was due to them having increased speed, of course. So, very good, very good. Me letting them have that. Oh, 
Also, I mean, me missing twice. I'm pretty sure I did have the increased spread there, but that was really brutal. Really threaded the needle on that one. Um, plus two firepower. Eh, remove one bishop, add six pawns. I mean, all right, we'll, we'll try it once. It, it's not going to be great for us because, uh, you know, obviously that increased spread, it really does add up. I had as someone telling me in, in the, my comments or my, my chat while I was playing this on stream that uh, increased spread really adds up. And it's it's not great. Um, it's great if you can get, you know, create situations like this, of course, but those situations are not always, you know, they're not always the case. The, the extra pawns, in a way, are, are beneficial to us. Rook's negative 2 HP, add 2 pawns, add 1 rook, 1 ammo regeneration. Deal damage equal to your firepower on a non-king enemy. Deal damage equal to your fire... I don't know what this means. Remove 2 pawns, add 1 rook. We, we don't want this. We want this one, because it adds more pawns. The pawns are going to create a wall, and so the, the rooks are really have to... like They become a problem for the rooks. And then we can create our own opening and basically control the board. Get rid of the knights before they're like an issue. Um, we do have no ammo right now. We gotta get rid of this rook. This is pretty much what I wanted. There we go. The extra firepower is nice. More firepower. Ooh, more firepower at the cost of even more accuracy. Sure, let's go hard. I, ju I just said that the spread adds up a lot and you shouldn't do this, but let's do this. Let's do exactly the thing I said don't do. You never know. Maybe, maybe this is nice. I mean, it is nice. I will not lie. Are we? We're not in checkmate, are we? I mean, we're hitting the king when I'm shooting directly at the queen. So for sure, there there is a bit of an issue there. But, uh, you know, we are making um, beautiful things happen right now. That was like the, oh my God. Okay, well we managed to hit them. Can we, can we kill this guy? Yes. Wow. That was, that was honestly really tricky. That spread is nasty. 50% chance to knock enemy back plus two fire range. I mean, this is worthless, honestly. A new pawn joins the fight every four turns. Um, sure. We, I'm doing that honestly mostly for the pawns because they're, <laughs> they're more of a problem for the enemies than they are for me. Alright, okay, we got rid of the queen. We got rid of everything. Oh my god. <laughs> Yo, the... the <laughs> We may have done it. The the double blunderbuss is actually uh, strangely effective. Who cares about spread when you destroy everything? <laughs> Extra firepower. Oh, charge one additional shell and your royal shotgun. Um, increase pawn sp pawn speed. Oh, I don't know about that. Remove one rook. Add six pawns though. Okay. I got I got to do it. For honestly f at this point for the meme. Extra firepower was nice, but um this is this is better. Add 6 pawns. Look at how many pawns there are. Oh my god. Now we can shoot 3 times. Oh no! 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 I did the stupid. Oh, I did the big stupid. 
Oh. <sighs> Angry. Upset. All right. Well, um, that's going to do it for Shotgun King for now. Uh, but definitely check back for some more Shotgun King content. I'm going to be doing uh, a mini series, and I'm up for this basically until I win, until I play this out. We'll see. We'll see how much that is. If I keep making stupid mistakes like that, though, this series ain't gonna go that much further. I will say that just just because no one wants to see that. But anyway, if you enjoyed this, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. And I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.